Day shaping up to be an awesome one. Ginormous Jasper. Ha <laughs> ha, today, back here in the woods, we just stumbled upon something really interesting. I've never been back here. We got snow, we got a pile of rocks here. At first I thought it might be tailings, but this stuff is interesting. This is like a sugar quartz quartzite with some mineralization in it. And it was dumped here for a reason. The reason I do not yet know, but it looks like this road continued further here. Looks like we got some giant blocks of quartzite up there, maybe some mineralization. For whatever reason, the Forest Service or the county or someone decided to block off this road here. And they used material from this big old dugout right here. But these blocks of rock, man, are they pretty. It's super, super fine crystal and it's a quartzite with sugar quartz-like attributes. It's a little bit more coarse and it gives off this wild shimmer. But right here we got some kind of big iron inclusion or something. Regardless, we're gonna poke around a little bit, see if we can find some, some mineral indicators. Looks like a really nice camp spot as well. But this rock, man, I'm seeing some potential here. Look at these things. This rock could be phenomenal landscape rock. I could see people paying good money for this. If there's enough of it here, you could potentially start your own quarry. But that's a landscape boulder right there, another one. You know, that's a $20 to $50 rock, $20 to $50 rock. Some of these have a lot of character and are pretty nice looking. Oh, we got a bunch of iron mineralization on this one. Let's see what else we can find up here. This spot is really curious. We're a long ways from the river, but we got, we have some erratic large, like glacial outwash river worn granite boulders here, here, here. You can see some further back in the woods, but this here looks like a ledge of this quartzite up here and they dug into this, presumably because they were seeing all this iron mineralization in this rock. I mean, we got some hematite growing here. It's super shiny and it does have some veinlets running throughout it. You can see right here, we got some small spider veins. Here's a coating face. But this rock sure is pretty. What's this black rock down here? Let's take a look at that. At first it kind of looked like Jasper and Jasper is a silicate rock. So this is a partially jasperized quartz. So I wonder where the heck this came from. You can see it's got a little bit more of a conchoidal fracture. That means it's harder and breaks a little bit like glass. Now this piece has a lot more weathering, boxworks, and pitting. Look at all that. That's some pretty wild stuff right there and super sharp. Maybe that's what they were chasing. So it looks like that's bedrock, and then we have a floater boulder right next to it. We're gonna have to go up there and see what's going on. Looks like we got a little bit of a trail up here, but I didn't notice this at all. Look at this, this is all solid bedrock and it's flat. It's like a flat laminar sheet of this quartzite, and this stuff in particular is brachiated. Look at that. We got some big old timbers here. There might've been a structure or some kind of processing chute. Maybe the door, maybe these were gate posts. I don't know. Look at this stuff. This is more jasperized quartz, but it's purple and dark gray. We're gonna have to look close, see if we can't find some really nice cabin grade material. More glacial erratics. This here looks to be a big glacial erratic as well. It's a type of granite moss rock. Oh my God, look at this. Wow, 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 wow. That's a super fine crystalline quartz right here. This is a giant Jasper hunk. Wow, my gosh. This is the stuff guys, wow. Wow, I was not expecting this today. I might have just found a big old, or refound a big old Jasper deposit. Who knows what they were looking at. For cabbing, lapidary rough, I can work with that type of material. And it has a value for sale as well. 
Now the question is, is this monstrous, monstrous Jasper a floater or is this part of bedrock? Seeing how rounded it is, makes me think it's erratic piece of float coming from somewhere down up here. I see some evidence of mining up here. These are all granite floaters. Some finer quartzite again. And what is this? This is a pegmatite. Look at this. All this pink feldspar, plagioclase, bigger, coarser crystals growing within this granite here. Super weird, super weird place. This is all of a sudden a completely different type of rock. This looks more like a volcanic, but look at that. You can see etched marks of bigger crystals growing here, 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 right here. You can see the crystal nubs protruding. We might be on a little crystal deposit here. Look at that. This is just too wild. Quartz, granite, glacial floaters. And here we have rough rock. I'm guessing this is just gonna be a test pit, but let's take a closer look. Looks like they're digging in on that sugar quartz again. I hope you guys can see that glimmer. This stuff's just super wild. Here we have some botroidal mineral growths forming on this face. Let's see how big this hole is. There she be. Now this is super cool, but that Jasper is even more interesting and this, this prospect isn't showing any of that. So I'm going to wander up a little bit further this way, see if we can't find any more of that Jasper. Well looky here, we came across another one. Look at that. This is a big old massive hunk too. It looks like it's coming down. It must be coming down somewhere out of this hillside or mountain up top. Oh man, I see something crazy cool through the trees way back there. There's some kind of bluff or ridge. I've never seen that before. The one time I don't strap on my backpack with safety supplies, <laughs> gear, pickaxe, water, I find something really cool I want to go check out. I'm going to go back here a little ways, make sure not to go too far as to get lost. Today's shaping up to be an awesome one. Look at this beautiful big flat up here. What is this? Here's another one of these jasperized boulders. I think we're getting closer. But look at this. Super private. You camp up here for weeks and no one would bother you. People shooting in the distance. We're down in some snow already. This bluff I was seeing in the distance, it's in this really weird feature. Weird. I'm down in this crazy trough. There is a road here, but all the roads, all the roads leading in are bermed or blocked off. So it's only walk-in only now. And then there's this crazy huge bluff. It goes from flat to almost straight up vertical here. I wonder what's going on. The old timers put this road in here for a reason. There must have been something interesting up there. We're gonna go have to take a look. You can already tell we got giant talus blocks coming down off of the cliffs up here. But if this Jasper is coming out of this cliffside, we might actually have some sort of mini lapidary bonanza on our hands. Yeah, it's a little tough walking in this stuff. Hopefully I don't step into a hole. So far it kind of looks like quartzite that we were seeing up front. This is some treacherous walking right here. You can't see between these blocks. I'm gonna have to try to stay up on top. Whew. What the heck is going on? Kinda looks like we have a flattened road area, staging area or something up here. This is wild. I did not expect to find this today. What do we got going on? This is all quartzite. I'm seeing the makings of a quarry right here, guys. This is decent landscape grade, landscape grade material. I know I could actually do something with this. So it looks like this flat area is a switchbacked, old overgrown road coming all the way up here. Who knows where else it goes? 
no one knows where I am today, so I better not go too far. But look at this, this black rock right here. This black rock right here is totally different. Kind of looks like a slag. That looks like slag right there. This stuff looks like a coal, coal slag or something similar. Now why the heck would that be up here? The only rational explanations, this could have been some kind of single gauge railroad track line for some reason. They're smelting ore, making coke. Who knows? But it looks like this thing's switched back in all the way up here. I see another flat area. Where the heck were they going? That Jasper deposit's yet to be found. The road disappears and goes down. I want to go up, so I'm going to go up. Here we go. More quartzite, sugar quartz. They're digging all over this hillside. There's some kind of digs over there. Looks like we got another flat area up here. I'm still not seeing much Jasper. This is, this is getting closer. Maybe that right there as well. Man, I'd love to find me some, some picture stone grade stuff back here. I don't have an explanation for why they terraced crazy talus hillslide. We have these flat terraces cutting across the face of it. Look at this, looks like we have one there. We're on one right now. Beautiful mountains. There's one down there and there was another step further down. Here again, we got a pile of this black slag looking stuff what the heck is going on this looks like pumice volcanic stone but it's definitely a type of slag look at that this is seriously bizarre there's another terrace right above us i might have to come camp back here and explore for a couple days figure out what's actually going on this is just super bizarre it almost looks like a stone house up here but I don't think it is. What the heck? You know, there's the mound, there's another terrace. What the heck were they doing? Switchbacking all the way up this crazy cliff. It doesn't look like they harvested much of this rock, but there sure is lots of it here. There's another platform up there. So I'm gonna hoof it up to that one, see what we got. Steep. Stone is, the stone sure is pretty. Holy moly. It does look like they dug this out right there. What in the heck is going on up here? This rock was dumped here to build this crazy road. You can see part of it washed out and slumped down the mountain. This area just doesn't make any sense to me. What were they doing? Unless somewhere in here we got some really fine grade marble or something and they were making headstones <laughs> and this road was, was made to carry down the most cherry pieces of rock they could find. If anyone can think of a use or market for this material, let me know and we could strike up a deal. Well, someone put in a ridiculous amount of effort digging that out, digging this out. This is one of those old switchback roads comes back up this way and zigzags all the way across through that crazy cliff face. Something peculiar is going on back here. Jasper, quartzite, gold, silver, marble. What is it? What's it worth? More Jasper as of yet. I think it's further back that way. Ooh, slippery now. Oh. Oh, holy moly, you guys got to see that. Running downhill, it's a bad idea. I stepped on a wet stick and a wet, whoop, right here. Wet stick, wet old rotting log. It's slicker than ice, man. <laughs> Whoo! This place is super weird, guys. Look at this rainbow branch. That caught my eye and then I saw this. Look at this. What the heck is that? That is the Jasper. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Ginormous. Ginormous Jasper. Here's another one. That thing's got to be a good four by five foot in diameter. Now this is interesting. And this guy, 
he's rounded and rough. That must come from somewhere way back there because it was not in this cliff face over here. Shoot, we got planes flying overhead. But here's another one, look at that. Look how beautiful it is with the moss and lichen. That's a very sellable stone. They're on my trail. <laughs> I've had this issue actually in Colorado before. With helicopters and planes scoping out trails and where people were way back out in the wilderness. Here I'm not too worried about it though. Here's another one on the top of a ridge top. I wonder if those jaspers were brought down by glacial action from somewhere further upstream. I hope you guys can see the color and beauty of this jasper. Here's another one. We got grays, whites, reds, oranges. This stuff's more valuable. It's very decorative and beautiful. Look at this. We got white quartz. Look at that thing. What the heck? What the heck is that? Wild. Crazy stuff right here. Big old block of the sugar quartz. That is nice. And yet another piece. Maybe this is what intrigued them. Really wild. Leave that there. Sugar quartz pocket druzy right there. Let's bust that open. Good one-handed rock. That one looks good. This one might break in half before we break that one. Let's see. Woo, it did. It almost hit my truck. Try that again. Maybe we'll do this over here on this rock. This is a bigger block. Let's smash that guy. Oh, man, that's some hard stuff. Didn't even crack. Here we have a piece of that silver ore I prospected the other day. Right there's a little veinlet of some sorts. It looks like it broke along the fractures where the mineralization occurs. So we just have a coating here. When I say we're out prospecting for cabbing rough, this is the kind of material I am talking about. If you can find deposits of colorful, wild, weird, patterned rock, it's most definitely saleable as lapidary rough and or for artwork. But this right here is a brachiated conglomerate jasper. This is picture sandstone, and you can see all these lines kind of look like clouds or mountains. And if you get creative, you can cut out some very beautiful patterns out of this material. Ah, here's one of my favorites. This is a beautiful brachiated picture stone. If you get creative with your imagination, you can almost see a pirate ship here at sea. You know, and you can make belt buckles, cabochons, bolo ties, all sorts of neat things out of cool material. Here's yet another rock from the outside edge. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Super boring. It's just brown. There's nothing there. No patterns. But when you slice it open, boom! There's all kinds of cool stuff. You can see all this patterning. Waves, clouds, mountains. This is the kind of stuff you want to find right here, guys. From the outside, looks like nothing. Bam! Look at that! All right, we're gonna start here on the course wheel side. Let's kick on the machine, turn on the water. I'm gonna start with a sintered, sintered diamond. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of point of view cabbing here. Here we have our piece of ore. You can see we have some sort of metallic mineral coating this front surface. Shape out this rough top edge. see the mineral is protruding down into the rock. So we have surface coating and veins dipping into the stone here. Sure does look like this top edge has a lot of mineral showing. And on to the polish. I did a really crude, quick polish on this, but you can see the silvery black mineral. The more I look at this, the less I'm thinking silver. Now there certainly could be silver in it, but it doesn't look quite right. It looks a little bit like galena. This is a good example of how any sort of rock, agates, jaspers, silver gold ores, 
can be valuable not just for their precious metal content, but also for their lapidary potential. Now I'm starting to suspect specular hematite or magnetite or something. Here we got our magnet. Let's see what happens. Oh no, look at that, look at that, it's magnetic. On this side where we have this thicker vein, we have something in here that's magnetic. It's not oxidizing, so it doesn't look rusty. This isn't necessarily what we want to see, but it's also not a deal breaker. We're going to give up this here specimen in next month's Nugget Club. If you want to see more cutting rocks, lapidary, and polishing actual gold ore, check out this video right here.